So here is the title of the cookbook, the Filipino Instant Pot Cookbook, classic and modern Filipino recipes for your electric pressure cooker. Um, this was written by the following people. Okay. So very nice. The cover, we have a very, you know, the cover of the book is really attracting. So here, so here's the variety, each chapter, like chapter one, instant Filipino food, chapter two, Kanin at Pancit, Rice and Noodles. So there is also a translation from Filipino to English. So Lugaw at Sabaw, Porridge and Soups. And then Manok, which is poultry. So they, this book has a um, variety of recipe for chicken. So you have... We have adobong manok, adobo sa gata, adobong dilaw, pininyahang manok, tinolang manok, afritadang manok, and of course, the pocherang manok and Pinoy chicken curry. There's also one for pork or baboy. So, I think there's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14 recipe filipino recipe that you can make using your instant pot and then for chapter six you got beef so those who loves cooking or making a recipe using your beef as your main ingredients and then there's also some seafood. So chapter 7 is seafood. Chapter 8 would be the vegetables or gulai. And then chapter 9 is the sweets. Some of the dessert. Like leche flan, cassava cake, biko. I haven't tried that one so I might try this, the recipe. And then, sari-sari, miscellaneous. Oh, diba, sari-sari, may sari-sari store. <laughs> so here, um, you get the introduction. So, yeah. So I'll have, let's look how they presented it. So chapter... noodles so here so here's the the pancit palabo the rice noodles with golden sauce so on the left side of the column you will see the preparation time and how many minutes you're gonna use the pressure cooker or the instant pot the ingredients is also listed on the left side. And then on the right side, you have the instruction. So it's very easy to follow. The, very, the, the instruction is not hard to understand. So I guess all of us, all, all those who wanted to buy this cookbook can easily follow. So make sure you only have a instant pot. That way you can use this book. So that's the... So here on the left side, you see the sample picture of the recipe, the noodles, the panabo. So... Like this one's Pinoy spaghetti. 
So on the, on the left page is the picture and then on the right side is showing the instruction, the procedure, and then the ingredients that you need in cooking the recipe. See, may kayumangging kanin. Bring, bring, bring he ni Lola. Grandma's native, oh, native paella. Ooh, look at that. Paella. Oh, those, that, that is Aras Valenciana. So, if you don't know how to cook, this cookbook will help you. You just need to follow the instruction. But sometimes, you know, even if the instruction is there, it's still difficult to follow. <laughs> I don't know why, but for some people, they they tend to i mean they understand it but sometimes even if we understand it sometimes we can't really follow the direction or the procedure i don't know i sometimes i am like that it's like re reality versus expectation <laughs> So let's just go over. So, so all chapter, they, they divided it into chapter. So by category, like noodles. And then chapter four is poultry. You have your chicken. Tinola ang manok. So if you have a American husband, you know, um, you can teach them to cook. Filipino dish using by following this um, instant pot cookbook I have a Filipino friend whose husband is an American and he is good in cooking Filipino dish even cleaning the fish <laughs> so there it shows the picture and then how the procedure and how to make the ingredients so I think the very popular Filipino recipes are in this cookbook so we have also the dinuguan the pork blood stew. Sometimes we call it the chocolate stew. Because, you know, if you say it blood stew, <laughs> they will they will throw up. <laughs> Kids will say, what is that? So there. And then some more of the pork recipe. They have also skinless longanisa. The uh, igadong baboy is thick. I tried, we always use the instant pot, like making sinigang or, yeah, because it's more easier. It likes like 20 or 30 minutes, and then your meat is already tender. So that's the good thing of using the instant pot. So, yeah, and you have your seafoods too. Look at that. Kakagutom tong cookbook na to. Okay. So, there. And then you have also the dessert. So, puto. Pwede ka palang gumawa ng puto sa instant pot. Kuchinta. Ginataang mais. So, yung mga popular, the, pa the popular dessert in the Philippines, you can make this in the instant pot. Oh, cheesecake. Ubi cheesecake. Oh, I might try this one. So, ano daw yung mga recipe? 
cream cheese. Ooh, not bad. I mean, no. Um, I bought this book because, you know, it's made or written by our fellow Kababayan Filipinos. And so, and just to... Um, to help them as well see the cover is nice the cover of the book is nice so. Um, so for those of you who have instant pot and wanted to cook Filipino dish using your instant pot um this is a good book this is a good book for you to follow i mean it's a good help although most of everything i guess you can find in online but i still want to have a hard copy of the recipe so i bought this one so and also to help our fellow um filipinos writer of this book so that's it guys so thank you for coming and see you all next time and hope that this will be a good help for you especially those who loves cooking See you later. Bye.